Hey everyone, my name is Andy DeSantis. I am a registered dietitian who specializes in nutrition for metabolic and liver health, specifically for fatty liver disease. And if you are someone who is tired of hearing about all the foods you can't or shouldn't eat because you now have fatty liver, today's video is for you. I'm gonna offer you some really, really helpful tips and explain why they're useful for your liver health. To get there though, we have to start with understanding the four issues that cause and worsen fatty liver disease. Those are insulin resistance, inflammation, imbalances in your gut bacteria, and high triglyceride levels. So for each of these four points, I'm gonna give you one nutrition tip. Let's start with high triglyceride levels, okay? Omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA, are the most effective way to lower triglyceride levels. The only food that naturally contains EPA and DHA is fatty fish like salmon, sardines, trout, mackerel, and herring. If you can eat those, if you like those, start to eat those more often, okay? Number two, insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is an almost universal feature of fatty liver disease. Almost everyone who has a fatty liver has insulin resistance. The number one food recommendation I will give you for insulin resistance is legumes. Legumes are lentils, chickpeas, kidney beans, and black beans, and they're very unique because they are the only food or one of very few foods that has a large amount of fiber and protein in the same place, which means if you add them to a meal, so let's say you switch your meal from using rice as a base with a protein and a vegetable to a 50-50 mix of rice and lentils, that totally changes the blood sugar effect of the meal. It also exposes you to more fiber, more protein, more magnesium. So legumes at your meals, another key point. I recommend my clients eat legumes daily, okay? Number three is microbiome imbalances. So from a supplemental perspective, probiotics help with this, and that's why there's so much research demonstrating that probiotics are good for fatty liver disease. From a dietary perspective, I'm gonna give you a few things to consider. First of all, fermented foods like kombucha, kefir, kimchi, and so on can absolutely, and, and probiotic yogurt too, can absolutely influence the gut bacteria and increase levels of healthy gut bacteria. That's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is go ahead and Google some terms, polyphenol, resistant starch, and prebiotic fiber, okay? Foods that are high in those three are known to boost the gut microbiome. I'll give you a full article in the link in the description to teach you more, so you, you don't have to Google them, you can just read my article, okay? Number four is inflammation. I'm gonna help you here too. Link in the description, I'm gonna put my anti-inflammatory nutrition guide, but right at the top, two foods that are very good for fighting inflammation are berries and citrus fruit. On top of that, a lot of studies show that regularly using herbs and spices like parsley, oregano, turmeric can lower inflammatory markers. That's only the tip of the iceberg, guys. There's much more to learn. Check the links in my description for more information. Now, bigger picture, everyone. I have a online course and community called Fatty Liver Fighters where I help people just like you fight back against fatty liver disease, learn, to ha learn how to use nutrition in their favor, learn how to stop fearing foods and to improve not only their metabolic health, their liver health, but also their general health and the relationship with food. If you'd like more information on my course and community, I'll also put that link in the description. Hope you enjoyed today's video.